It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. So we're just going to see what comes up. We'll get one of these first, I suppose. What do we have for a message today? It's reversed. It did come out reversed. It was rabbit. Too much concerned with sexual matters. So there's something about sexual matters here. Fertility, infertility. Uh, maybe there's... Uh, you know, I feel like there's... Has something to do with desires. And I feel like it's desires not being met. Somebody's. Let's see. Maybe somebody is way too concerned with it and then need to focus elsewhere. That's what I just heard, right? You need to refocus. Put your focus someplace else. Feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. Did we have this one yesterday? I'm pretty sure we did. So it's not over yet, right? This person is still in the energy, clearly. And there's something to do with, you know, desires. This person does not have good intentions. Oh, there it's just it's lost, put it that way. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Okay, we had some fallout. Three. Just three. Six of Wands reverse. This is a cocky individual. One hit wonder. Smug. Arrogant. Not a good leader. This is somebody who doesn't care about the people. Only cares about themselves. Maybe in a position of leadership, but really doesn't care about other people. I mean, this guy is not a hero, right? He may come in as a hero. He may everybody may have thought he was a hero, he or she, but absolutely not. This is a disgrace. We may have somebody here that is losing support for some reason. Maybe they're extremely arrogant, you know. Seven of Wands reversed. Seven of Wands reversed. Oh, there's opposition here. There's challenges. We have somebody here that is being challenged. You know, they're having a hard time staying in their position. Maybe they're being attacked or feeling attacked or um, battle weary, put it that way. You know, this is like fatigued. Maybe we have somebody here that is losing their power. That, you know, they're exhausted, maybe burnt out. Ah, next to the Six of Wands, reversed. Losing position, losing power. This is a disgrace. There's somebody here that is very defensive, that, you know, likes to fight. You know, this is fighting. It is fighting. We have a loser here, losing a battle. Somebody's losing. They're either losing support, maybe they're being attacked, they're defense, they're on the defensive, they're fighting, 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 fighting. People are getting sick of the fighting. They really are. This is like sick of the fighting. It's like, I, you can't live like that forever. You know, it's, it's a disgrace. It's disgusting. We 
may have somebody here that is giving up or they're losing. They're either losing the battle or they're losing the position or they're giving up. Could be quitting. There is definitely a power shift. Somebody that was in a leadership position is losing their ground. They're losing their stance. They're losing their title. They're losing their victory. They may have had victory at one time, but they may have led others backwards or in the wrong direction or they left people behind or they got too defensive or too cocky or too smug. We have somebody here that is definitely losing. They're losing. This is losing. Six of Cups reverse. Six of Cups reverse is clinging to the past. Clinging to the memories. And, it, and memories are memories. I mean, yeah, you're always going to have the memories. But this is maybe it's romanticizing the past, right? Nothing stays the same. Everything changes. We may have somebody here that is be breaking free from some sort of obligation. They're being freed from an obligation. Could be packing up, leaving home. There's an emptiness here. There's some sort of power struggle as well. And there may have something to do with children and family. You know, this is like a, this can be like a robbing of innocence of some sort. Somebody's definitely struggling. They're struggling. <sighs> struggling to walk away from something. Maybe there's an obsession. There's a lack of confidence. We have somebody here that's probably overestimated or they were overly confident, you know, and, and it went, something may have went to somebody's head as well. Something about overly confident and now it's like they're losing. So it's, there's a shift of some sort. We have setbacks. We have... We have some sort of setback, maybe unwelcome news here. Could be something somebody did in the past, maybe being challenged right now as well. Let's cut this deck, huh? Five of Cups. Ooh. Five of Cups. This is grieving over a loss, right? This is emotional disappointment, sad. Focusing on the loss. There's another opportunity that is being missed. We have somebody here that may be really wallowing, um, focusing on what is gone, really in their emotions. This is sad. They can't see that there's another opportunity behind them because they're so focused on something that has been lost. And there's a need for change. There's a need to turn around. There's a need to look in another direction. But we have somebody here that is really struggling. It's definitely a spot power struggle here. They're sad. There's sadness. And it's like they keep revisiting something. You know, they keep revisiting the loss or revisiting the pain, you know, and that's how you heal. There's nothing wrong with that, but you can't live there. I mean, I can't, it takes time is the biggest healer. You, you can stay there as long as you want, but there is another opportunity. There's an opportunity that is being missed, being missed or ignored. We have somebody here that is very much focused on something that has hurt them that they can't see that there's an opportunity behind them. Maybe they know it's there and they're just ignoring it. That could be the case. The magician reversed is no. It's a no answer. This is an unplanned, could be an unplanned loss. There could be an upcoming unplanned loss. 
Maybe there's no chance in reconciliation. Maybe somebody's fighting, you know, for a reconciliation and they need to stop fighting. They need to admit defeat and walk away. Now, the Magician Reverse can be somebody who's very dark. This can be somebody who's violent, that abuses their power, that uses their power to hurt people, to hurt other people, you know? This is somebody that has a dysfunctional mind, that plays mind games. This could be a pathological liar. This could be somebody that, you know, uses manipulation, you know, very manipulative, that uses manipulation to control um, situations, definitely. Somebody is abusing their power. They're, they've, they're abusing their power. They've abused their power. You know, this is sad. It is definitely sad. It almost feels like somebody's trying to manifest something. It's like they're trying to manifest something because of that magician reverse. They're trying to make something happen. It's because of a loss. And we may have somebody that is, is, is it's, you know, what comes, it goes around, comes around. It's like what you, what you manifest for somebody else, you actually manifest for yourself. There, someone you know is undependable and insincere. They are conniving. This is a trickster. This is somebody that is very manipulative, lies, deceptive, has a dysfunctional mind. This is somebody that is probably violent, may even have some sort of, uh, maybe it's personality disorders or, or something like that. I gotta say, you have to beware. You have to, I know that you do. You have to beware. Beware. You may have to defend yourself. You may have to protect yourself. Okay? I have sneeze coming. Somebody is doing something. They're doing something that is, is to get their own needs met. It's for their own reward put it that way there is somebody here that is doing something because it's like they're not getting the attention that they need they're grieving they're grieving somebody's grieving and they're doing something it's dark to uh, it's almost like they're look they're hurting somebody's hurting they're not getting what they need so they're doing something it could be violent with the magician manipulative um abusive there definitely could be some sort of abuse here. We may have a fall from power or a fall from grace with the Six of Wands and the Seven of Wands reversed both right together. You know, there's somebody could be losing. And again, with the Magician reversed as well, there could be a fall from power. Some, and this is because it's a loss of power. So there's a loss of power. So there, there's somebody could be losing their position, losing their power in some way. Hero font reversed. So this is not good. This is no faith. Lack of faith. Lack of commitment. This is a disgrace. There is a disgrace here. We may have somebody here. This is death. This is abuse of power as well. This is somebody that is in a position of authority, like a father figure that 
is questioning his authority. This person um, is maybe not very spiritual. We probably have a relationship that is not on the same page. Maybe, maybe we have somebody here that just isn't committed or they don't believe in a higher power. There could be poor counsel here. Somebody may be listening to poor counsel. Somebody's having a hard time doing the right thing. This is because of social pressure. This is a disgrace of some sort. Boy, we have another major, the world, the end. So the world is the last card in the deck, which is the end of a major phase in one's life, a major completion, learning a lesson, a big lesson. This is a huge life lesson being learned. This is the end of something that obviously taught you something. Stepping into a new era. This could be a change of residence. Um, it's a whole new you. It's a major accomplishment. So we do have a, co a, a completion here. Something to do with the past because the Six of Cups is in reverse is right before that. The end of clinging to something in the past. There's no victory. There's no success. The Six of Wands is above that in reverse. Going backwards is not bringing any success. Both of those sixes are together. Standing in this position, staying in this position, fighting and arguing is causing stress. Okay? It's causing... Uh, it's overwhelming with the Seven of Wands reversed. It's like, this is too much. It's too much. This is too much. We have somebody here that is struggling with walking away from something that they felt maybe obligated to, you know, for some reason. They felt obligated or they've been wallowing or they've been in pain. It's been, it's been hard to acknowledge Anyhow, the end of a situation is just saying goodbye to the past. Saying, and this could be something you were holding on to, something you were fighting for. Literally, this is goodbye to the past. It's goodbye to something. Nothing stays the same. Somebody's definitely been struggling. There's leadership. There's poor leadership here as well. Somebody's been listening to poor counsel. They haven't been listening to their gut. They've been uh, fighting something. Fighting till the bitter end, right? Fighting, fighting. Underneath that fighting is the world, you know, maintaining their position, unwilling to admit defeat. But this is like fatigue. It's like battle fatigue. It's like... We have somebody here that is very cocky and smug. This person isn't committed. They're not committed. They're not they're not committed. They just they just want the position. I feel like there's somebody here that wants to be in the position, but they're not committed to the position. You know, and they don't listen to counsel. They don't listen to advice. This person uh may be a strong fighter, but that's it's just, it's Maybe it's all talk, it's all mouth, you know, but they don't really follow through. Hmm. Oh my goodness gracious. The devil reversed. So the devil reversed is breaking free or things get worse. Breaking free from some sort of addiction, codependency, toxic bond. This is like slavery, right? But this is breaking free. It's taking back control. It's breaking free from something. If not, this can end in a disaster. This can be a disaster. This can be extremely unhealthy, extremely toxic, extreme lust, extreme desires, 
extremely unhealthy, obsessed, infatuated. There is somebody here that may have been attached to something just for, well, it's lust. What it could provide for them, instant gratification. The Hierophant reversed is right next to the devil reversed. It's like the devil has been winning. Right? But now the devil's losing because the devil reversed is marrying the six of wands reversed. That's losing. The Losing a position. Somebody's losing a position. Somebody hasn't been listening. They've been struggling with faith, struggling with poor counsel, not listening to advice. We do have the end of something. I feel like it's a commitment. I feel like maybe it's a long-term commitment, whatever the commitment was. I feel like we have a severing of ties, a breaking free. There's been obsession, infatuation, lust, and greed. Oh, my God. Woo! Doesn't get any better than this. The tower. Woo! Oh my goodness, the world, the hero font reversed, the devil reversed, and the tower? This is it. This is an uproar. This is a dismantling. This is an instant change, a sudden change, okay? All of a sudden, uh, lightning strikes. This is like a jolt, right? This is all of a sudden things blow up. This is a major disruption. All of a sudden something happens. A foundation explodes or something happens out of nowhere. And somebody is forced to go. These people are forced to leave. They're forced to get out of the situation. They're forced to start over from scratch. This whole thing is crumbling. Behind this card is the devil reversed. Okay, there's a toxic, obsessive bond, okay, or codependency, or addiction, okay? There's going, something is going to happen that is going to be life-changing. This is life-changing. This is the universe causing a major disruption that forces a break. This is a break. It's interesting because now these two cards are right next together as well. This is the universe. This is the universe. This is the end of a false sense of security. The end of something that is unstable. The end of something that brings some sort of gratification, but it goes just as quick as it comes, right? There is going to be a change in position. We have somebody here that was in a position. They abused their power. They lied. They manipulated. They um, have been unwilling to look at another opportunity because they've been wanting power and control. This person is losing their position. This is stepping into the new era. It is. It really is. The end of a false sense of security, the end of a commitment. There's going to be a break. This is definitely a break. It's sudden, all of a sudden, a sudden change, a sudden break, a sudden... This is a disaster. There's force here. There's force. The devil reversed is force. The tower is force. There's force. The magician reversed is force. There's force, force. There's some sort of universal forces, right? This is force. Force to break free or... I don't know. Forced to accept something. Oh my God, I just looked on the bottom. What do you think it is? It's another major. Justice. This is a karmic, karmic contract. This is justice. This is the laws of karma that see straight through the truth, the situation. Now, this could be legalities. This could be a judge making a decision. Could be the universe. We have the universe here quite a bit. There, there, there is a karmic law 
right? There is a decision that is being made based on the facts, based on the truth. There's going to be a change. We have somebody here that is very cocky, smug, arrogant. This person has been picking fights. They've been maintaining their position. They probably don't believe in a higher power. They probably don't believe in karma. They probably don't believe in anything other than getting their needs met. This is probably somebody that is very greedy, very lustful, very selfish. This Whoever this person is that has been in their top position is about to experience some upheaval, chaos, okay? Because things are going to change and they could absolutely change in an instant. Anyhow, there is justice here. This is a realignment. This is a decision being made that is best for everyone involved. This is uh, a fair and just decision that is being made, okay? Um, this is the truth, acting with integrity, truth coming out. All right. Um, the law's getting involved here. Okay, whatever it is, somebody's done something in the past that was for their own, and people do it. We all. I mean, it's a lesson that we need to learn. Like I said, it's a lesson we need to learn. Karma comes back around. Magician reverse of the little infinity down at the bottom when you least expect it, right? When you're living your best life or you th or comes whenever it, it, the time is right. But we have somebody here that has done something in the past. This is somebody that was very arrogant, very cocky, very smug. Um, didn't care about the people. Didn't care about the people around them. Was doing it just for themselves. This person's about to learn a significant life lesson and it is significant um this person probably does not believe doesn't believe maybe doesn't believe in the universe maybe doesn't believe in karma or uh whatever i don't know there's something that is being shown the tower shows things okay all of a sudden you know the light is shed okay all of a sudden this whole thing crumbles and it crumbles and everything is seen and it's a big huge mess and it is a huge mess um this is a decision, you know, it's a tough decision. A decision is being made. It's it's totally on the facts, okay? It's a decision that needs to be made based on the facts, not based on emotions. Um, and it has been emotional because the first card out was the Five of Cups, right? Somebody's been letting their emotions cause them to react in a unhealthy manner, a dark manner. Their emotions have been overriding their awareness about how we are all one. There's a selfishness here. Anyway, I have other readings to do, so I'm going to have to let you go. There is somebody here that is um, obsessed. They're tied to something that is toxic. They don't believe that they'll ever have disruption or they don't believe that anything will ever happen. They don't believe that maybe they don't take any blame for it either. Um, there is a disgrace here. There could be embarrassment, public embarrassment as well. We have somebody here that's looking for attention and they may be doing anything to get the attention. Anything at all. You may have to defend yourself, just saying. You may have to protect yourself. I'm not trying to scare anybody. Um, there is somebody here that is very um, prideful, smug, uh, cocky, and lustful at this time. Good luck.